All right, so today we go from this to this with the touch of button by installing a Varex adjustable muffler by X-Force. And I'll show you how we do it. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna put a little disclaimer out that um, I did reach out to Varex um, and asked if they'd be curious in working together because I was kind of interested in this muffler and I'm curious to see uh, what it's all about. Um, and they did send it to me and, and in exchange for uh, making a video about it, but they're not telling me what to say or anything like that. So uh, we'll be uh, figuring it out together and, um, and seeing how it does. So uh, obviously the main thing taking up the, uh, the tabletop here is the Varex muffler itself. Um, I think, you know, this is a Varex X-Force and the, um, the model number is a VMK11-350. Um, I think 11 denotes the shape. This is an, an ovular muffler. Let's see if I can turn it like this. You can kind of see a little bit. So it's um, ovular. Um, and the 350 indicates that it's a three and a half inch diameter uh, inlet and outlet. Now what's special about uh, this muffler is that it is adjustable and it's controlled by a butterfly valve. And so here, up here is the, uh, you know, mechanism, the electric motor that controls that butterfly valve and uh, basically opens and closes um, to adjust the sound. So kind of going over what else comes with it, um, you do have like this band clamp that comes with that. I don't think I'll be using this. Um, it comes with a, a, a flange here that again, I will not be using. And you get your associated hardware and your gasket that goes along with that. Um, it comes with all the wiring you need. So uh, this allows you to plug it into uh, like your 12 volt uh, outlet in your car. Um, this end attaches to the muffler itself. And then this end attaches to the uh, Bluetooth controller that comes with it. Or uh, I don't know if it's Bluetooth actually, it's wireless, but, um, and that's what this is here. So this is intended to be mounted uh, inside your, your cab and uh, you control it with the two remotes that come with it. Now, um, this remote opens and closes. Um, I'm gonna show you the operation of that in a second, but you know, you can hold down, you know, I think A is to, I can't remember, A, one is to close, one's to open. But um, if you hold it down, it'll quickly uh, open or close. And if you do cl individual clicks, it'll move incrementally um, and go to some preset positions. Now, one thing that I asked for separately on the side and that they do provide is a, uh, a toggle switch. So this allows you to uh, mount, mount it anywhere in the cab. And it's more of a hardwired solution. I'm, this is kind of a, uh, it's an easy plug and play, which is pretty nice, um, but I really don't want extra um, keys or extra things, um, you know, moving around in the side of the truck if I can avoid it. So I want to do a hardwired toggle switch. Um, and, you know, obviously I can, it's momentary, so I can just open and close it. Now this does get rid of your um, kind of preset positions. So that means that this controller here has some sort of like built-in um, smarts where it moves to those preset positions. This is really all about just how long you're holding the switch down. So you're not going to have as precise adjustments, but um, I, I think that's for me it's worth it to uh, have kind of a cleaner install. All right, so now I'm going to get started on installing this. Um, I'll kind of run you through the process. Um, my solution is going to be a little bit uh, custom. They do offer um, more like built, purpose-built solutions like cat-back systems. Um, unfortunately for my truck, um, it's, which is getting older at this point, they didn't offer uh, one. But for uh, newer F-150s, they do offer a uh, cat-back system. So I'm going to end up having to uh, cut off this flange here. And um, because I have the ability to weld, I'm going to weld it in. Uh, to the truck, um, and I'll kind of run you through uh, my unique setup um, on the uh, 
oh nine to oh nine to fourteen um, F one fifties, and I guess specifically the eleven to fourteen of the EcoBoost. So, um, all right, stick around, and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, I just want to do a little test uh, before I start installing all this to make sure uh, it's going to work and make sure I understand how it's going to work. Um, so I kind of have it laid up, laid out as it would be in the truck. So I have the power source, which is just like this battery um, box here on the left. Then I have my um, my switch and the uh, wireless uh, control module along with the um, remotes up there. A large length of wire and then I have the actual muffler with the the valve in it. So um, let's do a little test. It does have power. Okay. It, it, that is how it's going to work. Okay. Um, and like I said before, if you're going to run this with the uh, wireless uh, functionality, um, you would just unplug this momentary switch, this toggle switch, plug that in, and uh, then test it. And actually, I'll do that for you right now. All right, and as you can see, the uh, wireless module is hooked up. So now I'm just going to, oh, it actually gives you some nice um, colors there. All right. We'll see here. There we go. All right, so I think my first part of the install, I'm going to take care of the switch mounting. Uh, and then so I can kind of like figure out my route, my wire routing and everything like that. But um, I'm thinking what I want to do is mount it on this unused space here uh, next to all the light controls. Um, it's pretty easy to access from behind. Um, so I'll have it'll be easy to uh, to route wires there, um, and uh, shouldn't be too difficult to uh, cut out there either. So what I did was I basically measured the uh, dimensions of the, what the cutout has to be on the actual switch, which just so you know it's inch and a half by a three quarter, um, and also my little arrow here tells me which uh, which direction makes it louder for my install. But um, and so I made a little. Um, made a little like template here so I'll get that in a position I like it and then I'll probably score it with a uh, with a knife or whatever and then um, and then drill it out okay I got the hole all cut out I used a drill bit to uh, take out the bulk of the material and then I use, ended up using a square file to get the corners um, luckily luckily this uh, Outer plastic here is pretty um, pretty brittle, I guess, because it was coming off with the file really nicely. The stuff behind it, um, I just kind of bored out. There's another layer here. I just bored that out with the uh, the drill bit because it really doesn't matter. So, all right, next uh, I'll put it in and uh, get the wires run. Okay, time for a little update. I got the switch all mounted. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it fits super nicely in there and looks. If you didn't know what you're looking at, it might, you might think it uh, came with the vehicle. Um, the switch, once it's mounted up, it has a really, really nice feel. Um, so I, I do like that. I ran the wires, the wiring harness. I ran the power wires across the cab over to the um, passenger side. And over there is your uh, internal uh, fuse panel. So um, I'll be tapping into that with an, with an add a fuse. Uh, in order to get our accessory power. And then I ran the um, control wires through the firewall, through the grommet, which you can see down there, which I have a bunch of other stuff running through. So just one more one more wire th thrown through there. And then down, down along the uh, inner fender liner there and out the bottom of the truck. So next I'll be uh, routing this towards the back. Um, obviously, I'm going to um, hook up all my actu actual exhaust pieces before I, you know, firmly mount this anywhere. And then I'll be heading in under the uh, the dash here and tapping into all that mess in order to get some accessory power. Happy with how long 
the length of the cable that runs to the actual muffler is. So as you already know, I have it wired from the, you know, from the switch on the dash to the firewall and then down. And it basically runs almost all the way to the end of the truck. Um, you know, certainly past the uh, rear, rear wheel here. Um, I'm guessing it's probably about 15 feet, but the muffler is going to go on the passenger side, I think somewhere in this region. So I should have plenty of, uh, plenty of length to work with. Um, it's just something that's kind of nice that the kit, um, you know, is versatile enough to even, even go in a truck. All right. I got all my interior wiring done. I will show you that the light of the switch comes on when I put the accessory on. All right, there we go. And I'll be able to hear. Oh, of course, music comes on. But uh, yeah, so all good. And uh, now I think I'm gonna start working on the actual uh, exhaust tubing. All right, so for a little update, I obviously have been working on the uh, the muffler a little bit. I chopped off the the flange back here. Um, I used my trusty Harbor Freight uh, Porta Band. Just picked this up for this project specifically, and because it's going to be handy to have around. Then I welded on um, uh, two of these coupler pieces um, to you know fit three and a half inch. Just slide right on, and I just used the um, the MIG like TIG technique. Not the greatest looking things. Um, a lot of like little like I don't know what these were called, but little divots. Because I every time I uh, stop the gun, it seems to make some of those. But should seal it up just fine. And um, now I'm going to probably get the old exhaust off and start hacking it up to a. Uh, to graft this in. Okay, so I got the whole exhaust out of the truck. It was surprisingly easy. Um, really just the two bolts at the uh, flange there. And just had to kind of like work the hangers out, which not really an issue, but. Um, all right, so my game plan is I'm going to cut uh, right here along the straight section prior to this bend. This bend drops the exhaust down, I don't know, four inches or so, um, and it doesn't really need to. There's plenty of there's plenty of clearance for this to run straight all the way um, up over the axle. I'm not really sure why, but anyway. So the plan is to cut there, have straight grow right into the muffler, uh, put the muffler basically pretty close to that flange. And then um, I will uh, graft that hanger onto, I guess it'll be this end of the muffler, this section here. And that I'll get, I'm going to tack that all up um, in the truck so that way everything like looks, looks nice and uh, fits correctly. And then I will pull it all off and uh, finish weld it. So, yep, so that's the plan and um, I'll get working on it. All right, I'm making a ton of progress. I figure I'd give a little update. It's probably been a little bit. I kind of get carried away sometimes on this. But let me just hop under the truck here without looking too shaky. Okay. So, as you can see, I got the uh, the muffler all mounted. It's uh, hooked up to the down pipe there at the tail end of the Y pipe. And I got it um, hooked onto this second. Uh, exhaust hanger there. I'll show you in a second uh, how I had to make that and modify it to get it to sit a little bit higher than original. Okay, so this section is just tacked in place right now. Um, still has to be fully welded once I take it off the truck. But as you can see, I just used that um, three and a half inch exhaust clamp. Um, I'm not using it to clamp, just using it as a uh, hanger. So I added a, I added a uh, piece of small Eighth inch plate there, and I welded the uh, an old the old hanger to it. Um, so when I take that off, I'll fully weld it all up. All right, and lastly, since I got the muffler in, I was able to uh, route the final wiring. I basically came from the left frame rail all the way over there, 
and came up and over the transfer case. There's a, a wiring harness I zip tied this wiring to. Then I came up the side over here. There's a little bit of an exhaust heat shield there. You can point to it right now, right there. Came up and over that. And then tied in right above it. The whole uh, the wiring is all zip tied up out of the way, so that way nothing melts. And I do have one of those corrugated uh, plastic uh, sheaths going over it to protect it. Okay, I got the exhaust all mocked up, all tacked into place. As you can see, I did lose I did lose one of my hangers right there, so I'll have to uh, get that in position and hopefully get it back in the right spot. But um, I got it fitting in really nicely, pretty high, pretty pretty. The tailpipe was pretty close to the uh, the bedside um, in a spot where I liked it, so it'll have plenty of clearance, which is pretty nice. Um, and I should have uh, plenty of just ground clearance in general because the exhaust is now like basically, like I said before, about four inches higher throughout the whole truck. But um, so now I just got to go through and fully weld all the seams. Um, it looks a little hodgepodge together, um, which admittedly it is, but it's um, it was a pretty inexpensive way to do it. I spent I spent $60.00 on um on the tubing and all the connectors to make this happen um and obviously that's in addition to the value of the muffler um so i'll weld this all up and uh, then we'll get it back in the truck and uh it should be good to go okay it's all welded up ready to go in the truck i think it's going to work pretty pretty well everything uh should seal up nicely. The wells are obviously are not perfect by any means, but they should uh, do the job just fine, give it enough strength, and uh, not let any leaks out. So let's do it. Okay, it's finally all done. Well, it's actually done about a week ago, but things been crazy. The weather's been cold and rainy and snowy, so didn't have a chance. But um, yeah, I'm gonna peek under here, show you what it looks like. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. So the exhaust is pretty much tucked in there. See if I can, there we go. The lighting is really bright out here. So it's tucked uh, pretty well under the uh, truck here. I do have to, you can see that exhaust hanger there hanging low. I forgot to trim that. So I'll have to trim that. And I was actually surprised on how well the, uh, the piece that goes over the axle kind of just like fit into place. It all worked kind of nice. Um, and I do think that I got my tailpipe a little bit more tucked in, so a little bit uh, higher and more towards the uh, the wheel there. So I kind of like that. Um, it'll kind of keep it out of the way a little bit more.